Hi and welcome to this new MSM tutorial. I am Jérôme Daziano and I will show you how to use MSM on this example. This is a complex rib from Aerocraft Structure. And first, uh, we are in part design here and I will just clean up a little bit two faces because there is no reason that some faces like this appear. So here it's clean and here too. It's okay. So we can begin our work in going to advanced meshing tools and we see the MSM toolbar here. We create a working part. A working part is in fact a second cat part in which all the MSM entities will be stored and we also have access to all the MSM functions after creating this working part. So first we create the mid surface based on the bottom. So select this face. I let all the options by default for example. And so I can see the result by clicking Hydro Solid button. I can see there is a mid surface a geometry and also thickness associated. It is a 2D property. And so I can continue here. We continue maybe by um, showing you uh, the geometry workbench dedicated to MSM. Click on it. And so this toolbar is geometry and we also see the MSM toolbar here. And in this workbench, you can create some geometrical supports for, for the MSM extraction. So like a medial plane, for example, click on here and it creates a medial plane. So just between the two faces, top and bottom. But we also can create normal planes and Katia basic planes. On this face, for example, with an offset of zero. Okay. And also, I know I will use as support a plane here too. And they are not at the same level. So we use it like this. We can go back to our work here in a context analysis. And so we continue, for example, by all the ribs. So I click here. I will choose consecutively uh, here, here to uh, all the uh, the par all the faces of the the first rib. Uh, limiting surfaces, I will choose medial planes just at the bottom, and then I choose OK to see the result. OK, we have cut by the major plane. OK, and the result seems quite good. I can continue like this. And I will now proceed to the transversal ribs. Quite here. Here. It's OK, I will do this later because it's outside. You can see the result. And so here we will begin to talk about some options. Let me just hide uh, sicknesses because it's a little bit uh, annoying. So what can I say? What can I say? What can I see also? This seems too short and even it doesn't go totally uh, through the bottom. So in fact we will need to use some options in our medial surface, like extrapolation, 5 millimeters is, is not enough, so I will just increase the value. And also I will use a limiting, sur limiting surface as this medial plane to cut everything below. Just is the result, and after I continue explanations. Okay, so what I did works quite well. I just want to remove these things 
here. I don't want this, but I can keep it also, you know. I just created a plane which will help me to cut my surfaces. I click OK to validate this. And it's OK. I have what I wanted. So I can do the exterior skin now. I proceed like this. Limiting surface till this. And um, also the same plane as previously to to remove this kind of shape now. Let me just see the result first. Okay, it's like this. And for me, this shape is a little bit annoying for me. So I will just um, move this, not in the mid surface position, but like on this face, in fact. And it en enables me to show you an option of MSM. So manual positioning is the option. Ratio, ratio very close to zero will move exactly my mid surface where I want. And I prefer like this. Else I have a lot of work to do to correct everything and in a view to have a, a good quality mesh. So I do exactly the same thing here with two limiting surfaces, two limiting planes in that case, manual positioning and still close to zero. So there's something on the skin, you know. Okay. Now I do this skin. Click on it, limiting surface. Let me have a look. So below it's okay. And I have two choices. I can cut this, all the transversal ribs by this and also the bottom. Or I can move this to the outer skin. What I will do here to keep a simple demonstration. Okay, so I move like this. Now I will uh, make the other side. It is a complex side to, to, to do, but still possible, making some choices. I will also move to the outside. It's quite okay, it's quite good. I will do the same here, I'm selecting this complex shape. And this plane, I will still put a ratio of, of uh, very close to zero. Don't need a so high extrapolation. Now I will pass to to the U shape here. I just select several side and cut by the mid plane here. Ah, you can also put a manual thickness if you want, but I will let the automatic calculation uh, over here. And so I see the result, it's quite good. And as before, if I don't want this kind of shape, I can decide to limit by this plane too, which is based on the top face of the solid, if you remember, and based on this one, this face. And the result is quite better for me. Okay, so we are not far from the the end. 
what we'll do now is to take all the different thicknesses here in into account and we'll use another MSM function which is a medial uh, pocket split uh, we click on here and we'll select the parent entity which is the the bottom plate uh, this one and we'll select all the faces to take into account so we have kind of uh, 12 faces to select and 12 click OK and let the software determine the thicknesses, different thicknesses for all the pockets we have uh, selected So here it is. We can't see it because we have hidden the properties but just show the properties you will see. Yeah, all the different thicknesses have been computed for other pockets. So we take a last look to see if nothing has been forgotten. And this concludes uh, this presentation about the use of MSM on this uh, complex read. Thank you for your listening and see you next time.